There we go, wow. What's up guys, Dusty here with Dusty Fish Co. We are back in gorgeous Pensacola, Florida. We're heading out to Pensacola Bay. There is a cold front coming through late tonight, early tomorrow morning. So I'm fishing this morning and I'm fishing tonight to see if we can get ahead of this cold front bite and see if we can fill the cooler up. Anyways, head to the mangrove spot now. Gonna check it out real quick, then gonna run around and explore some other stuff. And I'll see y'all at the first hookup. Oh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below for a ton of great content that's coming out. I've got some product releases coming. I've got some sponsorship information coming. So stay tuned, check it out. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna benefit you. It's gonna benefit the channel. It's gonna help me make more great content for you. So I'll see y'all at the first hookup. Hey guys, I apologize. Uh, apparently the first couple hours I was filming, my camera was in time-lapse mode. So we're gonna skip the first couple hours of the day where I was fishing at the port and jump right back into it. All right guys, Pensacola Bay was starting to get a little sporty. The wind's kicking up ahead of that front that's coming through. So we move back into the bayou and see if we can chase some mangroves in here. It's still a fallen tide. So there could be some potential here as well. Uh, this spot, the mangroves like moving water you can occasionally get a redfish out of here as well. So it's just, uh, you never know. All right guys, so no luck on the mangrove spot there, what we are doing. Everywhere I fished today has been deep, dark and cold. The port, uh, the channels, the bridge. So I am thinking we're gonna mix it up. It might've warmed up enough right before this front that the fish have pushed back into the shallows. So we're gonna head to the back of Bayou Chico here, get up in the shallows, get up near the docks and see if that's our golden ticket. So let's roll. A long, hard day. It's been five, four or five hours since I've even seen a fish since the those, uh, since those bait fish I caught back at the port this morning, and we haven't even had a nibble. Can't give live shrimp away, nothing. But better than being at work, so we're gonna keep rolling. I switched to artificial, and I am fish on. Uh, to the shock of everyone on the boat. <laughs> Come on, what do we got? What do we got? Nice trout. Grab the net, grab the net. Where's my net? I don't see my net. Oh, I foul hooked him. Oh, beautiful trout. Gorgeous trout, keeper trouts. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, we've been fishing with shrimp all day and haven't caught anything. Oh, what a pleasant change, turn of events here. Bouncing it off the bottom. You throwing artificial? Just bounce it off the bottom jerks up and then stop reeling let it sit he hit it when it was sitting dead still oh. hey 16 and a half inch trout that's my biggest trout of the year i think all right finally gonna put this ice to use good great oh the ice is gone lovely trout heck yes we might have just uh we might have just stumbled into a little something something right here. Man, when you hooked up right after me, I thought we were sitting on him, boy. Oh, 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 oh. I got nailed. Oh. Every time I let it sit on the bottom for longer, I get hit. Dead still is when I get nailed. All right, guys, been a long day of fishing back at the dock right now. I have a uh, special guest coming on the boat with me. We're going out night fishing. I'm spending 18 hours on the boat today. I have Captain Anthony. Hey, how you doing? From Angela Rose Charters, and he is coming out with me. We're gonna be chasing uh, bridge monsters, heading out to Three Mile Bridge right now, and I'll see y'all in the next hookup. Let's go get it. All right, guys, we made it out here. We are at a super, super secret spot that no one knows about. And <laughs> we're, uh, we're dropping some shrimp down on the bridge right now. Captain Anthony's back here. He's throwing artificial. And uh, I think we're getting ready to throw some pinfish down at the bottom of this bridge, see if we can yank up a monster. Anyways, let's get it. Look out at the bridge. We are back inshore. This is actually the same spot we pulled those trout out of earlier today. And I just got hit twice so we are gonna see if we can do it again oh there he is there he is oh he dropped it right there little fudger sorry youtube 
spend forty thousand dollars and we could have just come and walked out on that dock and caught trout. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way both of us got hit that many times and they're just all gone there he is the baby the baby what's the uh size limit in florida Hey you guys, real pretty speckled trout right there, little baby. Uh, 15 to 19, three per, one over. So I was doing steady retrieve and then I just stopped it. And as yeah. soon as I stopped it, he nailed it. Oh, you Come back for it. I'll tell you what else we can do one night. I got a, you got a flounder gig? We can uh, jump on the boat and run out to the backside of Fort Pickens. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hit yeah. the sh hit the shore and then just walk and walk we, we, we could gig from the boat if we got light a light, but there he is. Oh, there he goes. Quick release. They counted. They counted. Eighteen hours out here. My entire video is gonna be me catching trout between these two fucking docks. <laughs> <laughs> once at noon and once at nine o'clock at night. Fucking thirty gallons of gas later. <laughs> <laughs> fish fucking ten feet from the logs. You on? There you go. Captain Anthony's got a hook up over here. What do you got? A little bit bigger. Start tossing the little ones out in the channel so we can start weeding them out. <laughs> Keep them across the lake. Back to a piece. Yep. If you count my quick release. Oh. There he is. What the frick? <laughs> we need more bait. <laughs> How do I, I just, I just, what the hell? No, he ate it. Smoked a pinfish on a jig. Her father left. Here we go, guys. A uh, trophy catch right there. So I oh. We're, not, we're slowly pulling trout out of this hole every couple minutes. Uh, just for the heck of it. Uh, Captain, Captain Anthony's still throwing a jig. I switched up to a four horseman cork with a death grip jig head under it on a uh, slam shady. The white, not the pink. And uh, I'm just gonna give it a shot and see if it'll entice a bite as well. Maybe the popping cork will create a little feeding frenzy on him. There he is. There he is. A small. Hey guys, another little speckled trout right there. Caught that one under the four horseman cork. Old Captain Tony over here, 20 years extra experience. He's only one fish ahead of me. <laughs> oh, what the f is that? Oh. Why didn't you just call my phone? <laughs> All right, guys, so we got tired of catching the little dinks over there. I mean, it, catching fish is fun and you should never leave chewing fish, but we're looking for something to throw in, uh, throw in the pan when we get home, so. We're pushed back further into Bayou Chico, stopping at all the lights along the way. Spot for the 32nd time today. This uh, this little uh, boat slip right here is officially confirmed to be the only place in Pensacola that has fish today. So we're back here again. This is ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Yep. This is ridiculous. Literally, every fish in Pensacola is right here. There we go, a little speckled trout, guys. The battery on the camera died right as I got him up to me. So I'm not sure if you saw it or not at this point. We'll... But we are, like I said, we are back in the same spot where I've been catching fish since six o'clock this morning, because it literally must be, like I said, the only place in Pensacola with fish right now. There we go. So that is our plan, is we're just gonna hang out here and wear them out until we can grab a couple keepers. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. You bobbed it, take it. There he is. 
You gobbled up? Almost. Man, I wonder if it's just a little school that's just... Putting back and forth? Yeah, just running around. There's got to be bigger ones tied in, though. Hey guys, another little speckled trout there. Later, dude. And they're not that aggressive either. That one was. He hit like a freight train. Really? Yeah, he hit. That was. I thought I had something bigger on. That first two or three seconds, I thought I might have had a red the way it hit. It's true. I haven't seen bait all day. Yeah, but what? Bait. I haven't seen bait balls, Drop. nothing. And it's the same thing out in Alabama. There hasn't been anything whatsoever. There's been no light. They're all pushing in somewhere. It's, it's definitely, it's not open water, I promise you. <laughs> there, there we go. Oh, he dropped it. Saw that cork disappear. Got excited. We get tired of standing on the boat. We'll go load it up and come walk out on the dock. We're in, we're in a really weird time though. We just come out of a major cold front right before a warm front in, in late December. Right. So, I mean. Right. These fish are probably just as confused as we are. Yeah. How they could have pushed completely out of these bayous because of the warm weather coming and pushed all the way back out to like the sound and the flats and all yeah. that. Yeah, they could have ran, man. Like, God only knows where they're at. Yeah, that tide has gone. My cork's not even moving anymore. It was drifting your way. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I was a little too tired that night to film an outro. Spent about 17 hours on the boat. Uh, number one, just to get some time on the boat, and I just felt like being out there. It was a nice day. Number two, it's winter fishing. Uh, things were tough. Spent the first probably seven or eight hours fishing with live shrimp, trying to cheat the system a little bit, and couldn't give shrimp away. I probably fished 15 spots, docks, holes, points, structure, whatever, that I didn't put in the video because absolutely nothing happened, even with live shrimp. Started to have a little success on the trout up in the, up in the marinas, up in the bayou, on artificial, about halfway through the day and into the night, but it was a super tough bite. That's winter fishing. Anyways, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Stay tuned for more content coming out. I'm hoping to do a sheep's head video soon. Every time I try, everyone seems to be sold out of fiddler crab. So I'm gonna keep giving it a shot, see if we can get out there and put some sheep's head in the cooler as well. So I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm Dusty with Dusty Fishco. Thanks for watching.